Mathematica is great for data analysis, and you can either access uh, data from the Wolfram Knowledge Base from within Mathematica, or you can import your own data that you have stored in files. So let's create a new section uh, again, and I like that keyboard shortcut of Alt-4, so I'm going to use that to make the section, and I'll call it Utilizing Data. Since we are going to explore two different ways to bring data into Mathematica, uh, I'll use Alt-5 and make two subsections, uh, one of which is called Wolfram Knowledge Base Data, and the second one uh, called Import Your Own Data. So let's start a new freeform input cell. Um, so, fa so far, we've mostly been using freeform input as a way to do calculations or visualizations, but we can also use it to query the Wolfram Knowledge Base, which powers resources such as Wolfram Alpha. Let's take a look an example of grabbing some data by typing equal sign in Big Mac plus fries and press shift enter. What's happening when this command is running is a couple of things. First, our query is sent to the parser on the Wolfram servers to try to figure out what we meant by Big Mac plus fries. Once it figures out uh, that we are looking for food information, it goes to the Wolfram knowledge base and looks up information about a Big Mac and fries. Then it sees that we have used a plus sign, which is normally used for addition. So it's going to make a logical assumption that we may want to see the nutrition information for this particular combination of food. And finally then, it's going to return the results to us in an aesthetically pleasing format. And for this example, we see we get a very nicely laid out sort of daily nutrition label uh, for the combination of food in question. Let's try another example. I want to see the current temperature in a small town near our uh, Wolfram headquarters called Paxton, Illinois. So I type in current temperature in Paxton, Illinois, and then I hit uh, shift enter to evaluate. Now as before, with the free form input, I can click on the plus icon uh, to see more results, like a graph of the temperature history and other pre-computed uh, results. Now the Wolfram Knowledge Base has trillions of pieces of curated data for a large amount of subjects. Things like mathematics, engineering, and life sciences, but also areas like places and geography, people and history, health and medicine, uh, shopping and, and products, and, and all kinds of more information. A more comprehensive look at the available data is beyond the scope of this video, but, but you can visit Wolfram Alpha uh, to see many more examples of how to query uh, for this kind of data. Now, you can also import your own data as well. So let's arrow down uh, to place our cursor below the Import Your Own Data cell to start a new input cell. The command that we want to use to import data is unsurprisingly called import. So let's type that in and put the square brackets uh, to surround its function arguments. Now the argument to the import command is a path to the file you wish to import. So if you know where the file is saved on your computer, you can type a quotation mark and then start typing the path. And Mathematica will give you a nice set of auto-completion choices to navigate your file system. If you're like me though, and you can never quite remember where you save something without doing some uh, looking around, uh, then you can go to the Insert menu and choose File Path to open a file browsing menu to quickly locate the file you're looking for, which is super handy. So I'm going to browse to this spreadsheet of data I have from an old chemistry lab project. This is an Excel spreadsheet, and once I choose it, I evaluate the import command uh, with Shift Enter. And Mathematica shows me that data I imported uh, was a set of ordered pairs. For you, if you have some data file on your computer, you can import it using the same method, and then you will see how it will be represented when imported into Mathematica. Since I'm going to want to use this data in a calculation, I'm going to go back to my import command and assign the result to a variable, which I can do by typing data equals in front of my import command and reevaluate. Now, the data that I brought in is stored in the variable named data, and I can use a command like list plot of data to visualize this data, or by using any of the other commands in Mathematica for data analysis, processing, and visualization. In the next video, uh, I'll take you through how to, how to take your entire notebook 
and quickly turn it into a slideshow that you can use to create a dynamic presentation that combines text and graphics with live mathematics and interactive models.